Hey guys, Apple Maniac YT here. As you saw from the title and thumbnail, today I'm going to be doing an Apple collection video for the month of November 2021. Um, I have quite a few on this table right now, so let's just go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so the first device is going to be this iPhone 3G. Works just fine, it's in absolutely horrible condition. I got this in late 2019, I think October or November maybe. Got this in a phone lot, uh, expecting a 3GS and got a 3G. Um, I really like it. It works just fine. It's on iOS 4.2.1. Next is this iPhone 3GS. Um, I think it might be dead right now. Yeah, so it, yeah, it is dead. Uh, this is on iOS 4.0. I would show you if, if it wasn't dead. It is missing, like, the actual chrome colored, uh, volume rockers. But other than that, it's working completely fine iOS 4.0 I love this thing it's I've had this one for a while actually I got it also in a phone lot before I started my YouTube channel this um this one I can't remember which one this is this is an iPhone 3GS this one is on iOS 6.1.6 .6. got this from a friend of mine in a phone trade this year earlier traded him an iPhone 5S and a crappy old Android for this it was iCloud blocked iPhone 5S, but it works just fine. iOS 6.1.6. .6. Um, I don't use it much. Then I have this other iPhone 3 gs on 6.1.6. .6. The battery's a little swollen. You can't really tell, though. It also doesn't have a screen. Only one of these have a screen. Um, yeah, it, it's working. I've had it since, like, 2017, actually. I beat it up in my, uh, in my cousin's basement once. But it, it works. I I fixed it up recently off camera and it had some old pictures on it. This is another one that I've had since 2018, 2017 maybe. It's a white 3GS, 32 gigabyte model. It's really nice. It's really beat up though, like horrible condition. I really need to fix it up because it's really, really, really nice one. Not very nice, but you know, special. This is an iPhone. This is a regular iPhone 4. Yeah, there we go. It is charged. It does have Fabby Bird on it. I have to blur my Apple ID. Great. Um, this works just fine. It's on iOS 7.1.2. I got this, um, I believe, in a phone lot, actually. Yes, I did. A phone lot back in April that I did not make a video about. Here's another one. Uh, this is an iPhone 4 CDMA model, I believe. Yes, no SIM card. So this one I got back in, um, I think I got this one, yeah, right, there's a video on it, uh, the early days of my YouTube channel, it's on iOS 6.1.3, there's way, I, last I checked, there's no way to downgrade to that, and I got it for $7, and I really like it, July 2020 I got it. This is an iPhone 4 CDMA also, I got this one, I think this was the very first device I ever bought on eBay. So it's really special to me. It's in a different frame now. The back and front are cracked. Um, I might replace it soon, though. It is amazing. It's a 32 gigabyte model on iOS 7.1.2. It is a CDMA iPhone 4. Um, so that's why it, that's why I keep I keep that one. All right, guys. Now for the other side of the top line would be first this iPhone 4s. This is on iOS 6.1.3 or yeah, 6.1.3 because it's not 3GS. I downgraded this for a YouTube video back in April. It's really, really, really fast and in pretty much mint condition. It's got some scratches from the amount of times that I've moved it around on, like, sli sliding on this desk for some reason. Uh, but it, it works great. Um, next is another iPhone 4S. This one, it, I would turn it on, but I get so many emails through this. I should just reset it. Um... It is on iOS 8.4.1, also used for a video. It's not in as good condition. It's got a big scratch right there. Other than that, it's pretty much perfect. Um, it's kind of slow. It is jailbroken and has a weird theme that makes the um, unlock and lock sound uh, a lot different, I will say. I like it, though. This one has no dock connector in it. No dock connector or battery. 
because they're in that iPhone. I'll get to that in a sec. This one was, this one's iCloud locked on iOS 9.3.5. I got this in my most recent phone lot video, I'm not putting any links in the description because I'd be, I'd probably be putting 20 links in the description for all these devices, maybe more. Um, it, it's iCloud locked and I'll probably smash it sometime. I gotta put the parts back in it though. Now this is from the um, I, iPhone 4S. Can I remove the bottom of it with a crowbar and hammer that I made recently? This, uh, it, it, it kinda works. I put a dot connector, I put the dot connector and battery from this iPhone in here. I'm gonna swap them back soon and then finish off this phone. But the LCD still lights up and it shows the dead battery icon, but it has a NAND flash issue and it does not boot. Next is this also iCloud locked iPhone 4S, not a 4 CDMA. Uh, it works perfectly fine. It's iCloud locked on iOS 9.3.5 though. Uh, also got in the same phone lot. And I, and I never took the stickers off of it. This one is another <laughs> iCloud locked one. This, uh, sorry, is an iPhone 4S. Also iCloud locked on iOS 9.3.5. We'll eventually smash that one also. Now this one, I put these out of order for by accident. Messed that up. This one is an iCloud locked iPhone 4 CDMA model. See, no FCC labels and no SIM slot. It works on iOS 7.1.2, but it is iCloud locked and will probably end up using it for either that iOS, uh, that 32 gigabyte one, or maybe the iOS 6 one next to it that you can't really see. So now down to the next row. All right guys, so we're on the next row now. This is the iPhone 5 from uh, How to Use Cool Booter Untethered. It works perfect on iOS 7.0.3 uh, with Cool Booter Untethered. It is technically on iOS 8.4.1 though. Um, I'll show you iOS 7.0.3 if you really need it. But it, I did install a lot of jailbreak tweaks, including an iOS 6 theme. There we go, 7.0.3. Um, I like it. It's a pretty good iPhone. I've had it for a long time, so it's really special to me. The back has a tiny bit of cracks. T tiny bit of cracking right there. Other than that, it's in really good condition. In perfect condition other than that, actually. Now, uh, this is an iPhone 5. It's iCloud locked. Got this in, uh, got this. This was the iPhone 5 that I used to fix this one over here. I took the screen off of it. And I was going to do the battery, but the battery ended up working. So this one's just iCloud locked, and I have it for any future parts that I might need. Next is this white iPhone 5 that I've had for a really long time. This one, also from October 2019, actually. This one is also jailbroken, uh, has a slide to unlock um, jailbreak tweak. Uh, it is on iOS 10.3.3, though. And it's hella like hella modded right there, right now. Um, even like a dark mode tweak. Ten point three point three. There we go. I love this one. It works great. Uh, not all these devices are charged, by the way. Next is this iPhone five C that I have to be really gentle with. It's probably dead. Oh my god, no way. Um, okay. I really hope this boots up quick. So this one is on iOS seven point. Um, 7.1.1, I think, yeah. So it's, it's, it's supposed to be a yellow model, that was the original frame, but I swapped it to a white one because I got a perfect condition white frame on eBay, just trying to get a screen for that. Uh, okay, so it just died. But it is on iOS 7.1.1 and works amazing. And is not like, um, a cool booter untethered jailbreak or anything. It is, like, 100% legitimate 7.1.1. Uh, next is this yellow iPhone 5C that has an iOS 10.3.3 logic board in it right now, no battery and no screen. Uh, and it, the logic board is damaged. I've had this one since, um, I think around the same time that I got this, so uh, like October 2019. It works. Uh, the date and time does not update in real time. You have to manually update it. So it's really bugged because the logic board got smashed in here at one point. Um, Damn it. Other than that, it is perfectly working if it if it had a screen and battery. Let me have this iPhone 5S um, on iOS 
TikTok and YouTube are the only apps. Settings. General. About. There we go. 10.1.1. Yep, right there. Uh, it works amazing, actually. I got this back in April of 2020, so right before I started my YouTube channel. Then there's this iPhone 5S I got from my cousin, and then they forgot the passcode. They had it. So I was given the passcode the day I got this phone from them, right? But then they forgot, but I forgot the passcode, so I texted them recently to get the passcode back. And they had forgotten it, so it's iCloud locked now. They don't know the I, iCloud details, they can't remove it. So it's literally bricked. Check rain does not work because I don't have a Mac, and Windows check rain doesn't support the 5S. And I've tried a Mac OS virtual machine, and that keeps failing. So next, over to this iPhone 6. This is gold. I think it's dead. Um, it's not, apparently. It's in really bad condition, but I fixed this up recently in a video. Um, uh, like, three or four videos back. It's on iOS 8.3. That's why it's... Um, that's why I even have it with this screen on it. I don't. It, it has this slow issue. That's why I have this screen on it, because it's really cracked. Um, it's in mint condition other than the screen, though. There we go. Look at this. And there is no 32-bit dual boot currently. So, meaning that this, it, like, you have proof right here that this is legitimate. General, about 8.3. This thing's great. It's It works perfect other than a lagging issue. Alright guys, so we're now on the second half of the second row. So this is uh, an iPhone 6 that I got back in 2017. I really like this thing. It's it's kind of slow now on iOS 12.5.3. It's I have not gonna update it to iOS um, whatever it is 12.5.5. Um, it's just gonna be slower. It works. The Touch ID stopped working. I think yeah, it did, and it's got a tiny crack. It's a really bad aftermarket screen though, so that's probably why it cracked. Can't remember how it cracked. This is an iCloud locked iPhone 6 um, that I've had for a little over two years, I believe. Yeah, it it works, but needs it is just for parts actually because it's iCloud locked. There's nothing I can do to it, uh, but I'm keeping it for parts. This one does not work. I got this recently. Um, I took the screen and battery from this and put it into the iOS 8 device over here. Um, this one showed no power actually. It was showing it out. It was showing on the, on my little, you know, my, the, it was showing that it was taking power, but nothing was coming up on the screen because it was water damage. This, um, this is an iPhone 6S on iOS 13.7. Uh, it's dead. It has an iPhone 7 battery in it, so it's really heavy. Uh, it, it's, it works perfect on iOS 13.7. It needs an iPhone 6S battery though. This is another iPhone 6S in rose gold. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's really beat up. If you're wondering why this is even in the collection, it's because it was from my 400 subscribers video. I'm not putting any links in the description again, so you can find it yourself on my channel. It does not work. It never worked to begin with, I don't believe. But I'm keeping it because it's really special to me and it reminds me of, you know, when I first hit 400 subscribers. And then this iPhone 7 in matte black. This one I've had for a while, actually. I've had this since August of 2020. I got this for free because it did not work anymore. Home button doesn't work. It's shattered on the home button and the screen. Uh, and it has no battery right now because the battery is in this iPhone 6S. All right, down to the next row. All right, guys, we're on the third row now. So starting off will be this Jet Black iPhone 7. It's a 128 gigabyte model. I got this in a phone bin last September, I believe. It worked perfect. Um, it's, I, yeah, I love this thing. It's locked to AT&T, and I had issues unlocking it, sadly. So I, I don't use it much, but I should. I used to use it for filming a lot. This is another rose gold iPhone 7. Not another rose gold, just another iPhone 7, but it's rose gold. It has a tiny crack in the screen right there, which sucks. But it is perfectly working. It's a 32 gigabyte model. And I have a couple old videos stored on there that I've filmed and never uploaded. I might eventually put all those into a compilation of like videos I never got published. Anyway, this is my gold iPhone 8 that I used for 
right over a year, like a year and two months until I before I moved on to this red iPhone 8. I love that one. It's really cracked. Uh, I have a bunch of old videos on this one. Really nice. Then this red iPhone 8, my main iPhone that some of this video is being filmed on, believe it or not. I'm switching between a camcorder and this one. A really nice camcorder and then this iPhone 8. This one is a 64 gigabyte. That one's also 64 gigabyte. Um, red iPhone 8. I got this on Amazon uh, in the renewed condition. It works amazing. I use it every day, literally. Like, there's not a day that I don't use it. And it has a scuff somewhere on one of the corners. I don't know. It's great, though. Like, way better than I expected to get from, like, a used refurbished device. I gotta flip this over. Okay, now onto the iPods. There's two of them. You might see another that's in a different pile. I'll get to that later. This is a Space Gray iPod Touch 6th generation. That works. It did work. The battery stopped working and now it boot loops. So I cannot use it anymore, which sucks. I got this. It's kind of special to me because I got it in mid-2019, actually. Um, the corner's really beat up right there. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Other corner, sorry. It's... It, yeah, it doesn't work, sadly. It used to, though, and the board was in this for a while. This is an iPod Shuffle that I got in 2015. Uh, not really anything else to say about it. It works. I don't have an iPod, an iPod Shuffle uh, thingy to, like, sync music onto it. Alright, guys, now onto the iPads. So this is an iPad 2 that I got uh, for free from my uncle, who is a, fi who is a retired firefighter. Um, some of his buddies found this, survived a house fire, and then, you know, the owners didn't want it anymore. So I fixed it. It works great now. It's on, I downgraded it to iOS 6.1.3. It's an amazing iPad. It's stupidly fast on iOS 6. On iOS 9, it was horrible. This is my first iPad from back in 2016. I love this thing. I'm going to downgrade it to iOS 10 soon, I think. I don't know yet. And yes, that is an iPod Touch home button because the other one fell off and I put tape to hold this one on. It's kind of cracked, but I don't feel like risking the repair, you know, because I've had this for so long. If I mess something up, I would um, be close to wanting to commit die because I, I can't say it because YouTube will probably take down my channel for, or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> this is my main iPad. I use it. It's an a lot. It's an iPad Air 2. Um, haven't been using it as much as I used to lately because I use my laptop more because I got that um, earlier this year, but yeah, it, it works on iOS 15 point, I think it's, you know, it, it's some iOS 15 beta, it's still on the beta, I need to get it off of there, and you may be wondering, what is this mysterious fourth iPad that's never been shown before on my channel, or it's been shown a couple times, this is an iCloud locked iPad 7th gen, I got this, um, so my mom found this in a parking lot, and it's, um, I, she put it out on Facebook around her area, trying to see if, you know, anyone wanted it back, or if anyone was going to claim it. Nobody did, so she sent it off to me to see if I could get the iCloud locked re removed. It was passcode locked, but then I reset it and it's iCloud locked, and I'm waiting for CheckRain for Windows to update to support it, because it freezes on, um, I can't remember exactly what it freezes on, uh, but it, it freezes and now I can't get it unlocked, so I gotta wait. Alright, now over to that mysterious pile with the other iPod. Alright guys, now for the random row. This is actually the row for destroyed devices, such as this iPod Touch that I used in a drop test. I got it last December for free. It's iCloud locked. And I bent it in half afterwards, raging over Fortnite. And I bent it so many times that it, it's bent over here slightly, and then it's bent in half, like it's literally broken in half here. Um, it obviously doesn't work. It shows a little bit on the LCD, which is broken, but yeah, other than that, no. This, uh, you might be wondering, why the hell do I still have this because it's so destroyed? Well, this was the iPhone 5S that I used in my 300 subscriber special video. Um, the rest of the parts of it are in this plastic bag, but I have the phone itself right here, and there's tape holding it together. If I let it open up, um, I have to let that go away. But look at this. If you, if you're, you know, a long-time viewer, you might remember the thumbnail. DIY Galaxy Fold. 
Look at that. Uh, it's really, really messed up. DIY Galaxy Fold. Anyway, yeah, I, I now have to put all this stuff back together. But it obviously doesn't work after the video I dunked it in a bucket of water because the battery started smoking. But it's... It, I still have it because it reminds me of... Yeah, then my channel actually got views. Anyway, um, it's gonna fly apart, isn't it? This, um, you also might be wondering, is this even an iPhone anymore? It kind of is. It's got a logic board still, and then there's a random cable running through it. Uh, this is an iPhone 6S, also used in my 600, not 600, 400 subscriber video. I shaved down the back by putting it under my foot and, dra and dragging it along the street on a dirt bike, so it's pretty bad. Um, and it's in three pieces, and I shoved them all together. So, and it, if you, for some reason, thought that that worked, it obviously does not work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this took a long time to set up and film, so um, please subscribe, maybe even like the video, and peace out, guys.